from kidsinterviewbands.com and I'm here with Sean Lennon from The Ghosts of the Sabertooth Tiger. That's right. <laughs> Alright, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Hmm, well, I always liked vanilla when I was young. But now that I got older, there's so many weird flavors that we didn't have when I was, you know, your age. Um, so, you know, there's all these kinds of like Cherry Garcia and, and the chocolate pretzel fish stuff. And I like, oh, the fish food, that's what it is, fish food. That band Fish, you know, they have their own ice cream. So I like fish food. Where do you get it from? Um, well, from the general store, I guess. When I was young, actually, I got to go to the Ben & Jerry's ice cream factory as like a school trip. And um, I thought it was going to be like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. When I thought we'd be like in a rowboat, like in ice cream and stuff. But that didn't really work out. It was kind of boring. I didn't learn anything. If you could hold the world record for something, what would it be? I could hold the world record for something. Um, I guess it would be... Uh, I guess I would be for like being able to fly or something the longest of any human or maybe being able to hold my breath and swim like a dolphin or something. That would be pretty cool. If I could hold my breath for like eight hours like a whale, that would be amazing. And that would be a world record. And I'd be a fish man. If you found $46 in the parking lot tonight, what would you do with it? $46? What town are we in? Depends how, oh, okay, because it depends how, you know, $46 will go a little farther here than it will like in New York or London, for instance, you know. $46, well, you know, I, I guess I'd probably go for a good dinner with my girlfriend, get some beer. I'm older now, I'm starting to get into beer, as I'm sure you can see. Get a nice stout beer, get a good steak. Maybe get her some pie, some apple pie, and uh, I don't know, maybe go karaoke afterwards, sing some, uh, some Van Halen songs. What's the weirdest food you've ever eaten? Oh, I don't know if I should tell you that. I've eaten some really weird foods. When I was in China, I was backpacking and I ate, um, I ate ants and scorpions. And they served them in like rice dumplings. They would roll the dumplings in ants and then you'd eat them and it was like, oh, it was disgusting. So I would say ants and scorpions. And there's something else I ate that day that I won't mention. What's she like more, puppies or kittens? Puppies or kittens? Oh man, that's too much, that's too difficult. Can't choose. I gotta be honest, I mean, don't tell the dog folk this, but I like kittens a little more. But my roommate's allergic to cats, so I can't have a cat. So I have dogs instead. I like dogs, though. But, you know, I don't want to upset the whole canine enthusiast crowd. If you had to change your band name, but you can only change it to a TV show or a movie name, what would you change it to? This is an interesting interview. If I could change my band name to a TV show or a movie name, I guess... Like, uh, it would be one of those weird, like, 50s movies, like, Attack of the 50-Foot Woman or something. That would be a cool band name, Attack of the 50-Foot Woman. I like that because she's not even that tall, you know? Like, today it would be, like, Attack of the 1,000-Foot Woman or, like, a 10-mile-high woman, but it's, like, 50 feet. She's pretty tall. It's not that scary. She basically is like a basketball player, you know? That's probably what I would call it. And finally, can you name all the Spice Girls? Can I name all the Spice Girls? Well, if I gave them my own names and I named them what I wanted them to be, then I could. I could say, you're named Perky and you're named Sparkly. Um, let's see. There's Sporty. There's Baby. There's Scary. There's Dumpy? No, there's no Dumpy. Is there Sneezy? There's definitely not a Sleepy. Is there a talented Spice Girl? There's no talented one either. Oh my god. Um, 
I got three. I mean, Portia, but that's not one of, that's her real name, right? No. Oh, so there's Portia. So Portia, no, ba oh, no. So, so there's Scary Baby Spite, wait. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not gonna get this. Do I lose something? I was gonna win something, wasn't I? <laughs> there's no prize even? There's no, you gotta have motivation for that, that kind of thing. You need to have capitalist motivation. We're living in a capitalist society. You gotta offer like a gummy bear or something. Next time. Next time I'll study up. Can you name all the members of KISS? Oh, no, no one can. No one knows actually. Alright, well that was really fun. Thank you. Thank you, nice to meet you.